Hey guys, so I started stripping this uh, Volvo MD1 down. Uh, bottom end is all absolutely fine. The compression was the issue. So, it's a cylinder head. At the minute, the head gasket is still attached. However, I can see here where there's areas that have blown, uh, where she overheated. So I'm going to get this all back. I'll clean it up. Um, you see a lot of a lot of deposits and stuff in there. So I'll clean it all up and make sure there's no cracks, no damage to the head. Well, I can't see nothing at the minute. Um, but I'll get it all cleaned up, check straight edges, and we go from there. The actual cylinder itself, I've slid this off. Um, this was in, I've been cleaning it up with a, with a blade. Um, this is in quite a bad way, but you see again, it's blown here, blown here into the cooling jackets. Um, the cooling sleeves here was solid, blocked up, so this wasn't cooling at all. So all I've done down here is just crudely chucked a screwdriver in there. This one is still only this far. Oh, there you go. So I see the engine wasn't cooling efficient anyway. Didn't help. There was no water passing round, but the water was in here. It wasn't getting cooled. But I've got my airline. I'll blow this out. Um, I've had a look. I'm going to get a head gasket and some wings for about £200 all in, by the looks of it. So if I can get this all cleaned up, I can't see no major damage. I think she's worth saving. I'll take you show the bottom end. That's the, that's the heat exchanger. All seems serviceable inside there, but I'll give it a bit of hydrochloric treatment anyway. And the bottom end here. Done nothing major, actually just with an airline, bit of compressed air. Blew a lot of the, the debris and crap off of the uh, piston, see where it's got hot there, but it's not not it's not defaced. So a bit of a cleaning up. Bit of corrosion here. Um so as I, I do piston wings as a matter of course. So if you're coming this far, may as well rebuild the top end properly. Um when she's all done, I'll get her run up. Um, she's all running all nice, all good, all good compression. I'll blast her back, fresh lick of paint, drop her back in the boat. But I shall uh, make some videos as I go. So my plan now is just going to clean the face up here, clean the face up on there, um, give it all a good, good dig out, good clean up, check for cracks, check for any sort of major distortion that's going to leave machining. Um, which is all good. I'll just crack on from my wire wheels, from my scrapers, from my brushes, just scrubbing and cleaning. Um, hopefully, get it back good as new. Uh, but obviously, I didn't do a strip down video, so I've done it in a rush uh, the other night. But when I reassemble, I'll show you, I'll, I'll do it a full video of reassembling the cylinder, the head, and all, all, the, all the gubbins that go with. But I shall keep you posted as I go. Alright, we've started on the uh, on the cylinder head now. So I've given the face a not a perfect clean but a quick clean up. Um, all seems pretty straight, which is surprising. Bear in mind the, the cooling failure and how hot she got. But maybe it's because it's big old cast iron block got away with it rather than being some sort of alloy thing that's gonna bend um, I'm just gonna pop the valves out now so I can recondition her properly Crazy. 
the beauty of this one, you can unwind it and take the weight off under control. Two colours, the cap. I took the valves out. Um, so intake obviously comes in, air goes through, in, through, obviously down to the cylinder. Exhaust comes out, out through there, out into the uh, heat exchanger here. However, and if we clean up the hole here, which goes through, you see that into the cooling jacket hence uh, a lot of um, a lot of issues so I'm clean up a bit better this head could be a goner um, I mean that is weldable I could I could easily put something in there and have it you know not not be an issue but I might look at how much I'll source a, a second hand head for but we'll see it's not the end of the road but um it's interesting okay a head from hell I've just used my um this little little stone wheel on my uh on my drill there's a there's a stone there under there and all that rubbish I've scraped off um so I've got back to shiny steel um, holes a little bit bigger now. Now I've got to back to a solid metal. Now 
was doing it a little bit of looking on, on Google and forums and I sort of suggest that potentially the use of JB Weld would sort it, obviously being an epoxy and I know being a, a sort of cast, I'm not sure if this is cast but um, basically I'm going to try with my MIG welder to try and weld in there and build it up. I'll, I'll, heat, I'll glow it up beforehand, get the MIG in there and just sort of build it up over time. If I can seal it up with a MIG I'll be a lot happier than I would with a bit of putty that goes hard in there. Um, so I'm going to set my welder up, uh, get it all connected up and I'll begin filming once I start trying to build her up and uh, we'll see if it's uh, if it's any good or I'm wasting my time. Alright, so we get this uh, get this recording while I'm getting my kit on. Uh, try and film what I'm doing. There's no way of me popping the camera up because I'm going to be holding it on. Uh, I've just dropped a bolt into the uh, the valve guide to stop any spatter going down there. Um, I've got a simple gasless um, little welder. I'm going to start it on minimum in case it blows through massively. About halfway feed. And she goes. Make sure she's feeding all right. Yep. And so I'll drop the mask and uh, see how she gets on. Sounds like it's just blowing through. Mask up now, quick look. I see she's not pretty, but she's closing. So I'm just going to keep going. What's for on the other side? It's just a cooling chamber, so any spatter that comes off, I'll knock it off. Um, I'm going to try and get this. I know it's good to have it closed, but I'm trying to get this earth clamp out of the way. I'll put that on the other side of the head. There you go. Certainly in there. Mm -hmm. so 
about halfway there. Crack on building it up. Visibility is getting a bit rubbish there. <laughs> Again, apologies about the terrible camera work, but um. The best I can do, I'm afraid. Bit of a, a bit of a burn around the top there. Smash it off. <laughs> so the lens doesn't even burn.
We've got a little bit more around the edges around here, I think. This looks alright. I might go a little bit more just to just to be safe. Alright, oh, I'm just gonna get my welding mask and everything off. Um, and try and clean them up. If I can get it somewhere close and it's still got the strength in her, happy days, jobs are good. And I'll just get set up and I'll uh, start filming again in a minute. Okay, just give it a bit of a grind back. Um, still not particularly pretty, but she's solid. Um, I need to obviously clean up a little bit more, get some more grinding stones in there, give it a good clean up. Um, but yeah, I think my next plan is I'm going to bung the, the outlet here, fill the head up with water and see if anything, le if anything leaks through into the, uh, into the chamber here. If it does, um, I'll grind her down and then clean up a bit of JB Welch just just just, just to uh, just to seal any small holes that may be in there. I mean that might be a, a good course of action anyway. But those say you can't do a job like this with a MIG welder. Yes, you can. There's the evidence. Well, I've decided against a leak test for a little while. All I've done is I've lined the weld. Sort of smothered the world with um, a bit of JB so a bit of epoxy steel world on there that should stop any gases escaping and coolant entering if I let that go off um, sand it down give it a blowout and then I'll do the, uh, the water test on there but that should be the most solid part on the whole of the head now. Okay, I've done a very uh, prehistoric test. So I'm making plates and stuff. I literally uh, bang some old nitrile gloves in the exhaust port, bang a bit of tape around it. Um, there's still some escaping out, but for what I need to achieve, um, see there. So there's no water coming through. So she's not under pressure yet. What I'll do, I'll um, I'll clean it up a little bit when 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 the JB's fully gone off. Uh, I'll scrape her up so she's all nice and smooth. So sort of ga gas flow it a little bit again. Um, and then I'll take it down to my local machine shop and get her pressure tested. As it stands. Piston's all cleaned up. Well, I say all cleaned up. I'll quickly dig at it. But there's no massive distortions on there. It's had a bit of pre detonation on top here, obviously for mould. But that is plenty good enough to go in a in a 50 year old engine. Um, so I'm going to chuck a new set of rings on there. Uh, new head gasket. Get everything cleaned up, cleaned up, put it back together, fire up, 